All right, we're going to talk about integer inequalities with absolute values. Two things that you already know how to do, we're just putting them together. Two great math topics that go great together, kind of like, what, chocolate and peanut butter. Absolute values and inequalities. Oh, and integers. So maybe it's more like a Twix bar. It's got the chocolate, the caramel, and the cookie crunch. Twix, good candy bar. I also like the... The Kit Kat, the Kit Kat, that's a good candy bar also. Okay, not so much the Milky Way or the Three Musketeers. Yeah. Okay, here we go, let's do some math. Absolute value, remember absolute value, how that guy works? The absolute value makes everything positive. Always positive, let's put that here. So if I have the absolute value of negative 6, that would be 6. This is our less than symbol. This is greater than. And this is equal. So let's do some problems here. So what we're going to do first on this problem is so we're going to take care of the absolute value. And then once we've dealt with the absolute value, we'll actually think about the inequality. So let's deal with the absolute value first. So first, absolute value. What's the absolute value of negative 9? That's 9. So I have 9 something 9. Is 9 less than 9? Is 9 greater than 9? Or is 9 equal to 9? They equal each other. How about this one? Once again, let's deal with the absolute value first. It's going to have negative 8 something. The absolute value of negative 8 is 8. And now let's do the inequality. Is negative 8 less than 8? Is negative 8 greater than 8? Or does negative 8 equal 8? I think it's this. Negative 8 is less than 8. So there's our answer. Once again, let's use up the absolute value first. That's going to give me negative 51 something 57. The absolute value of negative 57 is 57. Which inequality symbol? Discover here. The less than symbol. And, wow, I thought there was another page of notes. There is not. That's it. All right. Remember, Twix bar, Kit Kat. Those are good candy bars. See ya. Bye.